Well, you could just hear hearts breaking this morning. Canadian hunk Ryan Gosling apparently planning to take an extended break from the big screen. Gosling said in a recent interview he has lost perspective on what he's doing and needs time to reassess. The 32-year-old Ontario native goes on to say he needs a break from himself and so do audiences. But we beg to differ. That means his last on-screen role for the time being could be in The Place Beyond the Pines, which premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. And, now your host. and speaking of switch-ups, rumour has it Jay Leno is preparing to leave The Tonight Show next year, with Jimmy Fallon replacing him as host. There's no big surprise there, but what's really making headlines is the fact that Fallon's takeover would reportedly see The Tonight Show return to New York after spending four decades on the West Coast. There are even reports NBC has begun work on a new Tonight Show studio at its headquarters at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. Well, on again, off again, and on again, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart are apparently an item once more. The pair was apparently very close when they were spotted at a Los Angeles karaoke bar Tuesday night. A fan then posted this pic to Instagram, sparking more rumors of a reunion. At last check, R. Pats and Case Stew had reportedly split while Pattinson was filming in Australia. That was their second apparent breakup since last year's cheating scandal. Miley Cyrus may be trying to put rumors about a split with fiance Liam Hemsworth to rest. She tweeted this picture of herself yesterday. And once you get past that unicorn onesie, you'll notice the engagement ring is back on her finger. Cyrus has recently been spotted partying around Tinseltown without the giant rock while Hemsworth headed on a solo vacation to Australia. Can I call you Katie? Okay, Kate works. A high school senior in LA hoping to make a love connection with supermodel Kate Upton. Jake Davidson posted this video on YouTube inviting the blonde bombshell to his prom. Kate, we can ride around all night long till 11. That's my curfew. When Upton saw it, she tweeted, how could I turn down that video? I'll check my schedule. No word yet if she was able to make it work. Forget you can recreate Hollywood glamour with our L'Oreal Paris Look of the Week. Just head to breakfasttelevision.ca slash look of the week and get your daily dose of entertainment right here on BT every day and on Twitter at NCity. I'm I feel like today. we need a runway for you, you know, she, with that music and the jazz of I tried. I was walking very <laughs> the spring, awkwardly. The spring in your step? <laughs> just, just a little bit. Let's discuss okay. this Kate Upton development. Could you imagine if he actually shows up, corsage in hand, and <laughs> Kate Upton for his prom if she delivers? That's pretty good. Pretty good for him, which is really funny. Now, he's 17, she's 20, so there right. isn't that massive age difference. And apparently on the Today Show recently, there was a phone conversation, so they actually chatted via phone, and she, again, said she'll check her schedule. She thinks it's really sweet. But here's the thing. It right? helps that it's gone viral, right? Um, so, so I just checked on, on uh, YouTube. There are over 630,000 people have wow. viewed it. I'll talk about it's, pressure for her to now actually show. Well, that's the thing. There's so much pressure because this has happened to Mila Kunis, Kunis Justin Timberlake, Timberlake yep. Betty White, Justin Bieber. They all showed up, though, right? Uh, Bieber not Bieber. Did, and Taylor not, Swift, she did yes. something different. She, uh, instead of showing up to something, she did something. Di but so, what a great idea for everybody out there for prom season. I know. Set your sights high, and it may go viral, and they may they actually end up showing up at your prom There's because so it's great press. So much pressure though. Can you imagine being that like if someone said, Hey Dina, I'd really like you to attend I'd be like, finally, somebody asked me to the prom. <laughs> oh, no. I went to my prom with six other girls. It was a great night. <laughs> anyway. There you go. Can I light on the couch? You want to talk about this for a couple of hours? <laughs> Let's do it. Not enough therapy in the world.